This class will be concerned with the tools of strategic analysis, just looking at the tools to see what are available to facilitate strategic analysis. Now, strategic analysis itself is concerned with the analysis of the business situation. It's concerned with both the internal and external factors that may influence the business. So strategic analysis is looking at the issues that confront the business and the opportunities that are out there for the business to exploit. So strategic analysis is very important in analyzing the direction in which the business is moving. Now the tools for strategic analysis, well the first one we could look at is PEST. This is the political, economic, social and technological influences that impinge upon the business. The business operates in a wider environment so there are political uh, issues. What's the, the tax rate or what, uh, what's the government's record in handling the economy which overlaps with the economic one. But certainly the, the business will have to take into account what the politicians are saying so as it can judge its long-term future. The economic one is what's the rate of inflation, what's the rate of interest, what are they likely to be, what's the exchange rate, what's that likely to be. So it must take into account economic factors. There are also social pressures. Uh, how does the business relate to the local community? How is it seen within the community? Is it seen as a polluter? It has a lot of noise and a lot of uh, smoke and dirt or is it a, a clean pleasant business that uh, makes contributions to the local charities and the local schools and sports and so on or how is it seen within the local community and technologically where does the business stand how is it placed to exploit opportunities that arise within the technological sphere new developments in computing or in networks or in robotics or where does it stand in terms of these. Then there is scenario planning. It looks at various possible views of the future from the uh, for the business. So it, scenario planning is it's the what if type of planning. What if the following happens? What can we do? What if we do this? Will that follow? It's looking at various scenarios and trying to trace through the implications of the scenario so that the business can select the best one. So scenario planning is quite important. Then we have five force analysis. The five forces analysis put forward by Michael Porter it's a technique for identifying the forces which affect the level of competition in an industry. These are the subject of separate videos. Um, market segmentation. Looking at the marketing technique which identifies similarities and differences between groups of customers. Looking at where the product is aimed, what segment of the market, what age group perhaps it's aiming at, or what gender, or uh, what characteristics of the uh, of the client base is it aimed at? What is it aimed at? Household owners or people who rent property? Is it aimed at car owners or what segment of the market is it aimed at? It's important to know this. The directional policy mix summarizes the competitive strength of a business in specific markets. It looks at the business operating in specific markets and tries to work out the strength of the business. It could also work out, of course, the, the problems the business may encounter in those markets. But it's trying to work out what is the, what is the advantage to the business of operating in cer certain markets. What, are the, what is the strength of the business in those markets? Competitor analysis is very important. Several, ten, uh, several techniques that seek to summarize the business's overall competitive position. Looking at the competitors is important because the competitors are trying to gain market position, they're trying to gain market share, they're trying to, to inflict damage on the business. 
in effect. They're trying to outcompete the business, take its market share. So knowing the competitor is important. Knowing what they're doing and what their strategy is and knowing about them is important. So these would be the essential tools uh, of, of strategic analysis. But there are others and just very briefly um, critical success factor analysis. It's, it's not an obvious one but it does get mentioned in the literature. This is an attempt to identify areas in which the business must perform, outperform I should say, the competition in order to succeed. It's looking at what are the critical factors of the business. What must the business do? What are the essentials of the business? What must it get right in order to succeed? It's looking at the core of the business and making sure it's strong and sound, well developed and well looked after. SWOT, having said all of that, SWOT is actually quite widely used. SWOT is the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats to the business. It's really looking at the internal position and the external influences as well. It's looking at the internal, the strengths and the weaknesses. Well, what are the strengths of the business? Perhaps what are its core competencies? What are its efficiencies? What are uh, what is the, the financial position, the cash flow and so on. Also what are the weaknesses of the business? Addressing the weaknesses is an important issue. Making sure that the business is aware of the weaknesses and can do something about them, that is important. But the business should also be aware of the opportunities. It should be alert to opportunities. Uh, that's, this is the essence of entrepreneurship. To be aware that there are opportunities and to be uh, enabled to exploit the opportunities. To have the resources available, to have the, um, to have the drive, the motivation to capture any opportunities and thereby out-compete the other companies in the market. But of course Finally, it should be aware of threats, any threats that are facing the business. And it should be able to um, make contingency plans to offset any possible threats. The threats could be international competition or new technology which will uh, perhaps change the market structure. Uh, look at whatever threats there are in, uh, in the environment whatever threats they are on the horizon and make contingencies, have plans to, to deal with those. Strategic choice, um, identifying strategic options and then evaluating and selecting uh, strategic, the strategic options. Uh, so identifying them, seeing what, what possibilities are there, what, what choices are available to the business, strategic choices, what directions can the business travel in? What can it aim at? Uh, evaluating the various choices and selecting the best one. And finally, uh, strategy implementation. Moving a strategy into organizational action. Trying to work out how a strategy can be operationalized. How can it be put into play? How can it be made to work? Looking at the issues involved in implementation and sometimes those issues may militate against the strategy itself. It may be the case that uh, the uh, implementation poses so many problems that the, the strategy was not viable from the start. The points I've got on, on this slide, with the exception perhaps of SWOT, uh, do get mentioned in the literature, but they're not high profile. SWOT is certainly a high profile uh, issue and worth noting in particular. But these are the tools of analysis, the strategic analysis uh, that the business goes through. And it's a combination of looking at these various 
tools for analysis that ultimately generates uh, a scenario that is acceptable or not acceptable and will prompt the business into perhaps changing its str its strategic direction. Uh, it may actually prompt the business into not moving because having conducted this sort of analysis perhaps the business is already optimized. However, that is all we need to do on this particular session so let's leave it at that and say thank you for watching.